Hey guys, it's Richard. I'm bringing you my updated Royal Paladin deck profile, which is including, you know, Exculpate from the side booster. So, uh, big differences with the deck is um, obviously not just Exculpate, but the great three lineup changed up, kind of mixed up between the aggro deck and the uh, the first deck profile I made. So, just jump right into it. So the starter is obviously. Climb. It's a shiny climb. Got a shiny boy here. I was lucky enough to pull one of these, so that's nice. Next up is two copies of Exculpate the Blaster. Uh, a lot of decks I've seen not even running Exculpate the Blaster. I can see why. It's just like it's just a fun card for the most part. I don't see it being like amazingly good. Uh, Exculpate's skill is that when it's placed, you cannot blast one. Choose one card from your uh, soul and put all the other cards into the drop zone. And then when this attacks, it attacks your opponent's entire board. And at the end of the battle that attacks, you have to ride a copy of Blaster Blade from your soul and retire this. If you cannot, you just lose. And when you ride the Blaster Blade, it rides a stand, so you get to do an additional attack. So that's pretty cool. And if you have four rear guards, the Blaster Blade has a crit. So it's a fourth attack and a four stack that can only usually it's only attack three times so that's pretty cool also it's a it's a grade four with a 14k base whoa all right for grade threes uh three copies of king of knights alfred i'm um, running three just because uh balancing out the grade three slash four lineup uh skill is when it's on van you count boss one search deck for blast play it gets 5k Passively, when it's on Van, it gets 10k if you have a rigor Blaster Blade. So, even though it's kind of counterintuitive with Exculpate, whereas you kind of want to see Blaster Blade in hand, because, well, I forgot to mention, for Exculpate skill, when you ride Blaster Blade from Soul, you first have to put two cards from your hand into the Soul. So you could choose a Blaster Blade from your hand, put it into the Soul, and then ride it. So that's a way to get Blaster Blade into the Soul for riding. So if you're constantly calling them out from the deck, you, like, lose those. But it's still a okay because most of the time you end up riding Blaster Blade for the most part, at least in my experience. And uh, also Deck Thing is just really, really good in Vanguard. So really good card. Call it them Blaster Blades. Find them triggers, etc. Three copies of Soul Saver Dragon. Uh, this is still a pretty good finisher. Uh, it uh, helps fill soul. And, I mean, that's the other thing. This is really counterintuitive as well because... Um, this makes you soul blast your entire soul, and then you can't really finish with this afterwards. So it's like you're either going to finish with Exculpate or Soul Saver. So Soul Saver is act, soul blast 5, give 6 to your units 15k, and then when it attacks, you may soul charge 1. So Finisher, uh, if you can write it instead of Alpha and kind of build your game off that. Uh, you have Akane and Pongo to help fill the soul. S same old deck. Four copies of Blaster Blade just because you have to, basically. You kind of made it where you have to run Blaster Blade at this point. So, Blaster Blade is on Van. If you have four rear guards, uh, he gets a crit. And then, when plays Combo Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and retire it. So, you, it's for your search target for Alfred. If you ride it, it's in the soul for Exculpate for when you do the skill. Pretty fun stuff. Four copies of Akane, because other than Alfred is our other deck thinning. So you use this to pull out Pongol, so it's when you place it, count us one, search your deck for Pongol, call it, and if you have a high beast in the same column, uh, when it attacks it gets 3k. Or during, yeah, during the battle it attacks it gets 3k. Uh, next for grade twos, four copies of Jaren, uh, kind of like the first deck. Jaren's really good, it's when it attacks, you have if it attacks a vanguard, if you have three or more rear guards, it gets 5k. 15k beater with an 8k boost, that's a 23k column. You know, uh, soul saver turns, you can make this a really big number. It's still a really good column on top of the force markers and everything. So having big rear guards is really good for force. I were one copy, run one copy of Galatine. Uh, I like how... Uh, I can throw it down early game if I ride Blaster Blade and it's in my hand. Throw it down to fill up the field. Uh, I can intercept. Um, it's foiled. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, 
Yeah, I like it. I because for the most part, when I'm making these columns, it's like usually uh, 10k, uh, 8k, and with the con, even though it swings for 21, because 21 is not really an important number anymore. Um, it's either 22 or 23, so those 18k, 17k numbers are the most important thing. With a force marker, it's 28. So I feel like the column doesn't make that big a difference, and also the shield is really nice because it's a 10k shield, so you can guard it from hand. You can intercept with it for that 10k shield. So I like the tech with the Galatine. Personal preference. Four copies of Pongol. Uh, you have to because you run a Kane when it's placed. If you have another unit in the same column, you soul charge. If you soul charge a trigger, it gets 5k. Deck thinning. You're going to be filling your field with these for the most part just because you see a Kane so much. And you're going to want to call these just to fill up the soul for... Um, soul saver, and if you just happen to soul charge blaster blade, cool, you set up for exculpate. So, stuff like that happens sometimes. I'm running three copies of Marin uh, instead of the four. Marin skill is when you have another unit placed in the same column, uh, you count blast one, draw a card, and this gets 3k. So, still a really good card, want to run at three. Running three copies of, whoops, oh no, I spoiled it. Running three copies of Knight Squire Allen. So Allen is similar to Marin, where when it's placed, you count plus one. Uh, choose up to one card from your hand instead of like when it's placed in single. So when you play it, count plus one. Choose a card from your hand, call it. And if you uh, if you call the card, you get to draw, and then this gets three K. So while Marin is columns, this is more like filling the field anywhere you want. So I kind of like mixing and matching between the two. So I dropped one copy of each, basically to have room for two copies of BCS Wingles. So Wingles skill is when this is in the same column as Blaster Blade, that unit gets 5k. So I decided to run Wingles because um, you can basically put Wingle anywhere on your rear guard circle in your back row and it's gonna serve a purpose for one way or another. So it's either just gonna be a basic 8k booster like all the other ones in the deck. It can boost Akane give it the 3k for its skill since it's still a high beast and importantly is when you put it in a column you're basically dedicating that as your blaster blade column your left or right so when you place it down use Alfred's skill call the blaster blade to that column it's gonna be a bigger number and then if you put it behind your vanguard circle either the turn you ride blaster blade on your grade 2 ride put it behind it that can, it swings for 23 if you have four rear guards so it makes it harder for your opponent to guard the crit and if you keep it there for the rest of the game, when you ride Exculpate, uh, leave it unboosted, you swing with Exculpate, have Blaster Blade and do the full swing. It's like either 30, 33, or 43, depending on how many Force Markers you have underneath Exculpate. And I'm having fun with it. I know a lot of builds don't use Wingle just because that extra 5k really doesn't make that much of a difference. But for the most part, my Royal Paladin deck is just for uh, my little fun shenanigans going on. And I feel like it's doing fine for me. If you feel like you would rather put your Allens and your Marins back up to four copies each, go ahead and do that. That's perfectly okay. I just like running the Wingles. They're cute, they're hot stamp, and they serve a purpose. So I like to run it. On two triggers, I'm running four copies of Epina, obviously. Foiled foiled and then four copies of Flogel so eight crit and then our four draws flash shield assault PG you know PG's are draw triggers now so you want to be running those and then last but not least you just still made in a lane one foiled so that that whole side booster set where basically you just get foiled triggers and and stuff not a good investment in my personal opinion just because like I feel like Trent, Novell, and Exculpate really didn't change the decks too much. Maybe Blaster, Blasters, and or Royal Paladin a little bit. But it's kind of just whatever. So yeah, that was basically the deck. Um, basically your field's just gonna end up being like this and then with Blaster Blade and the Soul and Exculpate and then you ride Exculpate and you put these uh dang force markers that you got put like maybe you rode soul saver and you put one on van or you 
you know you only have one on rear because you wrote Alfred so you write Escapade put a put a good old gift there swing with your Vanguard unboosted do your drive checks uh, give your rear guards triggers do the skill retire you're back to grade two again and then you swing with the crit and it's really just kind of like the fun of doing it for the most part um, as far as meta goes I don't I feel like it can be a good play to push your opponent and um, other than that I feel like Soul Saver is still gonna be the finisher for your deck so yeah that's basically my uh, interpretation and my understanding of how the deck functions let me know what you guys think what is your Royal Paladin uh, Escopate deck look like how how would you make make it any different um, yeah, th those are my questions. Um, as far as fun, I'm definitely having fun with the deck. So, yeah, you won't have to worry about that for sure. This deck is definitely fun to play. Um, that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.